this movie for me. And it's kind of hard for me right now to even sit here and do this interview. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try and make it uh, as painless as possible. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I know, I know what I'm up for and this, that, and the other, but I was going to call in this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm one of those fast talkers, so it's, yeah. So okay, anyway, So you may want to, yeah. <laughs> That's it, you ready to? I'm ready, if you're ready. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> My name is Charles Pendleton. Uh, my position right now is a uh, running team lead. I'm Tammy Dangerfield and I'm the HR manager. My name is Ronaldo Rhodes. People call me E, it's my middle initial. And it kind of turned into E-Robot. My name is uh, Billy No. People call me Wild Bill, Billy Nana, Dollar Bill. Uh, that's about it. My name is Shawana Watkins. I'm known in the warehouse as Juan. My position is team lead slash everything. <laughs> I'm Chris Fox. I'm warehouse operations supervisor first shift, and I've been with the company since November 9th, 2009. I've been with the company since December of 08. My employee ID badge number is 39. Don't know if that's the lowest of everybody who works there, meaning the longest. Hopefully it is. I started out in Louisville, yes, in a little small warehouse. My very first day with the company was actually packing up the old warehouse and moving into this massive facility we have here now. I'm Eric Williams. I'm Vice President of Distribution for Chegg. We're here at the Kentucky Warehouse. Let's go on a tour. We're looking at the world's biggest warehouse library. In our peak times, August Rush, we have approximately 1.7, 1.8 million books in the warehouse. August Rush, in one word, would be just phenomenal in every way possible. It's one hell of a ride. The fastest roller coaster in the world. There's no way you can prepare and game plan until you're actually in it. You gotta be on your A game, it's the playoffs. The building itself is 611,000 square feet. At our peak times, we have 120 outbound pack stations. We also can convert those into inbound stations. It was long hours, it was long days, but you never, you, you, you were so busy, like, it, it didn't seem like work, it was fun. I've had a lot of fun times here at Chegg, period. So many fun times, and really, truthfully, I can't even Talk, name them all, you know? But I've had a lot of fun. I remember our response to the Harlem Shake. Dan bought everybody on the boat drinks. MC Hammer. When we went to King's Island. We also did a chicken dance. A chicken and Shelly was running around the warehouse with a book chasing it. I don't think enough can be said about our employees. Post-announcement that we were outsourcing the business from the warehouse, every single employee that we've had in this building has really been committed to the process. They understand what the impact is for Chegg and how positive it is for the future growth of the company. And they also understand how good the company's been to each and every one of us. It really speaks to the professionalism of, of our team leads, our management staff, our HR staff, everyone. The fact that the warehouse team delivered professionally right up through the end and hit record metrics in number of books delivered in a day, total number of books delivered in a season, highest customer satisfaction scores. Going out on a high was not only great for students and great for Chegg and great for our brand, but I think a real testament to the quality of individuals that worked and ran our warehouse. And you know, that's probably the greatest disappointment is that we won't have that day-to-day -day relationship anymore because it's so important in building our brand. This is where our process ends in the warehouse. Uh, once we've packed the books, we load them onto this conveyor belt and subsequently they get loaded into the back of the trailer ready for delivery to UPS and then to our students. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's really weird. It's really weird. This is the part I didn't want to do. And it's almost coming to that day, so you know, we know it was gonna come, but when it's far away at first, it's no big deal, but when it gets close, it's like, shh. And when you see the desk go down and you see the books getting repositioned and going out, it's like, oh man, it's coming. 
I believe in us. I believe in us, and I believe in uh, I believed in our mission. And that's one thing any NCO in the in any military service would say: mission, soldiers, self. But if I don't believe in the mission, I can't I can't hold my guys accountable, my soldiers out there accountable, and I can't hold myself accountable. So this mission here is essential for us and essential for this country. I just wanted to say thank you to the entire Kentucky team. You guys have been absolutely amazing through this entire process. You have been an amazing part of the Chegg story. And very truly, we would not have Chegg were it not for your continued commitment to our students, your continued commitment to make our processes work better and to do it even when obstacles were in your way. Um, you are Chegg and you always will be. But like I said, once I'm used to one situation, I, it's hard for me to make a change. Right now, I can't get my man off leaving Chegg. And everybody wanna say they're not gonna hold, it, you know, they're not gonna cry, they're not gonna tear it, but you asking me these questions, they got me kinda, you know what I'm saying, emotional already, but you can't be scared of change. I've worked with other companies, but never with a company that has grown so fast, so quick, and have an impact on people's lives like, like Chegg has done. To all the staff that has you know, done so much for us over the years and has built an amazing logistical capability for Chegg, has allowed us to achieve such high uh, student satisfaction scores on, off the back of your hard work. Thank you. We wish you all the best. I'm sure I've touched probably more than a couple million books that's come in this warehouse and left this warehouse. If you just take the last five years alone, we've probably shipped close to 25 or 30 million books. So when you think of the number of students that you've had the ability to impact their lives, you should be proud of everything that you've done. I certainly am proud to have known you all, to be associated with you all, and I hope to see you one day at the Kentucky Derby if I ever get a chance to get back down there again. And it's really an extraordinary thing that you've done right up to the last day. So thank you very, very much. And I hope the next chapter of your lives is as important and successful as the chapter that we got to share together. Thank you. We've had good days. We've had bad days. But no, we got through it. We got through it as one happy family. We're like a family. It's like a family. It's like family. Chegg means to me a place of professional people working as a family to help everybody else's family get smarter. And I love you guys. That's all I got. <laughs>